caught on camera by the Coast Guard, two boys face certain death. Just off the Oregon coast, fierce currents have stranded them, and the tide is rising. Their only hope is a helicopter. Nine million dollars worth of high technology. But with winds battering the chopper, what matters more to the boys is a mechanism far more complex than any helicopter. Half a million microsensors linked to one of the most sophisticated communication systems on the planet. Pilot Matt Gingrich needs all his sensors on full alert to save the boys. We had about 30 knot winds and the rocks around us. It's uh, nerve wracking, very nerve wracking. Through a web of nerves, they fire signals to match brain. In fractions of a second, the brain signals motor nerves, triggering precise movement of his hands on the controls. 4,000 nerves direct each hand as he holds the chopper steady above the rocks. At the same time, Matt's other sensors are hammering him with information. He must read data from a dozen instruments and watch the horizon. He must listen to the crew who can see what's going on below. Amid all this, Matt's sensory system must calculate and balance altitude, speed, and position. That means outperforming any computer on Earth. Easy back. All right, either way, pick up signal. Easy back, you're doing The speed of signals in Matt's nerves is crucial to his actions. They're right there, you're doing perfect. It keeps the rescue swimmer from crashing into the rocks. You can hold it right there. Hold position. Hold. What's surprising is the nerve structure that makes the speed possible. Our nerves are bundles of thin cells, some more than three feet long, carrying electrical signals to and from the brain. As insulation protects electrical wiring, a sleeve of fat surrounds key nerves. And it's this fat layer that keeps signals from interfering with one another, so they can rocket around Matt's nervous system at over 250 miles per hour. Easy back and left, very easy back and left. We don't want to get this way. With the rescue swimmer dangling close to the rocks, this is the trickiest part of the operation. Matt's nerves work so fast, and his touch is so precise, that he can make tiny adjustments without thinking. He's acting on instinct, depending on sensations working faster than we can think. It's something we all do, every day. It lets us make music, create art, and save lives. Okay, so we're in survivor of the aircraft. Hold. You're doing good, Mr. Gay. 